Doceri presents How to Crochet a Lace Scallop Trim Number 3 by me, Gwen Fisher of Beat Infinitum. Doceri is the premier software suite for creating educational screencasts. So here are two bracelets that I made. Um, the top is made with a lace weight silk and the bottom one is made with mohair and other fibers. And I added some buttons here. Here's some information about the kinds and sizes of buttons I used. And this is the general method that we're going to use to construct the scallops. We're going to crochet this building up. Um, and then you can turn the thing into a bracelet. Uh, here's a little information on the hooks and yarns that I used to make both of these. Uh, so you can see that even though the crochet hook sizes weren't that much different, the, the finished pieces are actually quite different in size. Now, I tried to make two bracelets, but it turned out that the thick one really stretched out after I took the first photo, and it turned all the way into an anklet. And to um, shorten it back down again into a bracelet, what I did was I, I wove contrasting yarn through the holes. And so this was a fluffy Angora hand spun and I used four strands like that and I wove them under and over and under and over all the way around and then I um, tied a knot and wove the ends in and it made it really three-dimensional and fluffy when I did this and it was able to shorten it back down into the length of a bracelet. So here's the first scallop and then the second scallop is a double and the third one's a double scallop and each of these will be a double scallop going up. So to start this, um, I want to show you my legend of stitches. So we have chain stitch, slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. And if you don't know how to do these, there's plenty of videos on YouTube that you can find and instructions all over the internet that will show you how to do these five basic crochet stitches. And these are the American versions of them. So to start, we're going to make a slip knot like that. And then for row one, we're going to chain six and slip stitch into the first stitch to make a loop. And we're going to chain one and turn. For row two, we're going to single crochet, half double crochet, six double crochet, half double crochet, single crochet, over the chain and tail. And so that's over the chain and not into each individual stitch. Um, and that'll give you a nice fluffy little scallop and then slip stitch in the first stitch. For row three, chain one and turn, and then single crochet into the next two stitches. For row four, chain three and turn, and then slip stitch into the next stitch. For row five, chain one and turn, and then five single crochet over the chain and single crochet into the next stitch. So again, these are, these are over the chain um, crochets and not into the chain stitches. For row six, chain seven and turn, and then slip stitch into the fifth stitch, and then turn. For row seven, chain one, and single crochet in the next stitch in the scallop and over the chain. And then over the chain, you want a single crochet, half double crochet, six double crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet. Then slip stitch in the next stitch. Okay, so let's see what we've done so far. Here's how we build up the scallops. And here's the first scallop, and then we chain, and then we complete the first half of the second scallop, and then the second half of the second scallop. Now to do the next one, we're going to, row eight, we're going to turn and single crochet in the next stitch. For row nine, chain four and turn, and then slip stitch into the next stitch. For row ten, chain one and turn, five single crochet over the chain, then single crochet in the next stitch. For row 11, chain 7 and turn, then slip stitch into the second to last stitch. Or you might do the third to the last stitch, and I did one of each. So um, I used the third to last stitch in the mohair and the second to last stitch in the silk piece, the black skinny one. I think I like the second one better, so I'm giving that one a star. For row 12, chain 1 and turn, then single crochet, half double crochet, six double crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet. Slip stitch into the next stitch. And then you're just going to repeat these rows, eight through 12, as many times as you want to make as many scallops as you want. And that's all there is to it. So if you make something beautiful, I hope you show me what you make. 
Visit doceri.com for more information about how I created this video and learn to make videos like this for yourself. Thanks. Bye.